was so saddened by the death of the children. I remember the first day we met, we just clicked. She was like a family member to me. We were very close and I loved her openness. She was just a sweet lady. <coughs> that is how we remember her. How will you be remembered? As a content creator? as a friend, and I just pray that may this death unite you all the friends of Gatwiri so that we can become one. We don't like, we should be together always. I know in the art world, when somebody is shining, there's some envy that comes. And I pray that you may unite as one, you be good friends, you be each other's keepers. I remember the last post that she did, she was saying that she's not going to work because, I don't know, the chariots or the agents were coming, so she was not seeing the need of going to, to work. And with that, I just want to give us a song and uh, just a chorus which says that that which you've gotten, the little that you know about God, you need to keep it in you. <laughs> Colleagues of the period. I told you my name is Aroko. This lady we've lost. She was a great lady. I met her for the first time and I introduced myself. That was a year ago to her. She came to the village, went to Dev's place. She was a lovely girl. But one thing stood out that she could interact with anyone. Okay? She could touch you at any point. When I told her that I was joining politics, she told me, Mashmiwa, I don't have money, but I will support you with whatever I will have in my hands, even if it is not money. She touched me. The way she was talking, the accent was Meru. So I was like, what has she told me? She repeated it again. I don't have money to support you in politics, but I will stand by you. Remember, she didn't know me that deep that she could tell me those words. So, as time was passing by, she was asking for any connection that could boost her level and how she can grow herself. So we happen to have had a friend, the High Commissioner for United Nations High Commissioner for Habitat. Then I told Dave, let's, let's go with the lady. So we went to the United Nations High Commissioner for Habitat with her. We introduced her to the Commissioner. And they clicked, the way they clicked, it's like they, they had known each other for, for some time. She had something that God put in her that was attracting people towards her. So each and every person who has spoken here, she must have touched their lives. Like that, there's a lady called Karao, she said that 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 was good in her, that is what we need to pick and grow. So as friends, as colleagues, this is a very young generation. You've lost your colleague, you've lost your friend. But I want to encourage you that there's nothing you can do as it's now she's gone. If she did something that was touching you, that touched you, that touched your family, that you felt was good, then pick it from her. Then you grow it. And thank you guys for coming together. 
Thank you guys for standing with the family. We also thank you for everything that you put in line to help Katwiri rest in peace. People will die. Everyone will die. But we pray to God that we should not die before we exhaust our talents and help people and grow others. Somebody say that she took, uh, what is it called? Uh, she, the food she took to, to the lady who, who, who gave birth. What is it called? Budokoi or something? Mokimo. Okay, Mokimo. Okay, you can imagine that she took border border to go and see her friend in an hostel, somebody who gave birth. It's very, touch, very touching. So my people, we have to stay close, we have to stay together and watch our friends, our colleagues, and help them explore